May Gray in Ma Martra 8.30 p.m. ITV It is a tribute to Rowan Atkinson's acting that he's managed to rearrange his features, from their indelibly familiar comedy purpose to convince Holy as the lugubrious Inspector May Gray. Tonight, he descends onto the seedier boulevards of Paris in all their alluring decadence to investigate the murder of the Countess and a showgirl. The key to the mystery lies in their past lives at the Grand Hotel of Nice, delicious as du bonnet. David Stubbs, Mary, Mel and Sue's Big Christmas Thank You 7 p.m., BBC One Like a Three Woman Clap Back to all those Channel 4 watching, traitors, you know who you are, the original Bake Off babes have reunited. Mary, Mel and Sue are in the Rhonda Valley in South Wales, where they're putting on a spectacular Christmas shindig to bolster a struggling but much-loved community center. Mary is in charge of the food, naturally, while Mel and Sue contribute decorations and general good cheer. Ellen, E. Jones Child Genius vs. Celebrities Christmas Special 8 p.m., Channel 4 The Child Geniuses conquer contemporaries en route to victory, but can adult minds best them in cranial capability? Richard Osman sets four pint-sized brainiacs against a quartet of academically articulate celebrities. Wannabe MP Mog takes on Dom Jolie, Polish Fabio battles Janet Street Porter, Max Wiz Christopher takes on newsreader Kathy Newman, while team captain Rhea confronts Rob Delaney. Mark Gibbings Jones Winters Weirdest Events 8.30 p.m. BBC Two Chris Packham, looks at the weird and wonderful occurrences of winter around the world and a host of leading scientists help him, make sense of these natural oddities. There's crazy winter weather, such as spectacular tornadoes made of snow. And then there's, the supremely odd behavior that consumes the animal kingdom in winter, such as the snowboarding crows and the penguins who, perform death-defying feats. Ben Arnold Not Going Out Christmas Special 9.35 p.m., BBC One in early 2017, Lee Max Grumpy Butt, gag-packed sitcom fast-forwarded into outnumbered territory with Lee and Lucy, Sally Breton, abruptly becoming parents to three young children. The addition of Rosie Cheek Sproggs is a good fit for this special episode as the couple's warring in-laws compete for grandkid affection with gifts so lavish they threaten to outshine Santa. The late Keith Barron guest stars as a prickly toy, shop employee. Graham Virtue Ratburger 6 p.m., Sky One with grotesque characters, cartoon violence and Groundhog Day scenes of its young hero, being gobbed on by the school bully, this adaptation of David Williams' children's novel isn't subtle. But it is good, fun. The plot centers on Zoe, Talia Barnett, who's growing up with a hated stepmom, Sheridan Smith, but whose life is much improved when she encounters a dancing rat. Armitage. Trouble is, burger van proprietor Bert, Williams, is hunting for, patty meat, Jonathan Wright Trolley Christmas Special 9.30 p.m., Sky One There are larks aplenty down in the Valco Isles as, Sky's passable ensemble comedy opens its store for Christmas Eve. John Thompson slips straight into the role of star employee, Tim, as store manager Gavin, Jason Watkins at his busy buddy best, is hoping to break the record for the shop's, highest takings. What could possibly go wrong? Q robbers holding the staff hostage, with their fate in the hand of Have a Go Hero Gavin. Knockabout fun. Hannah Bertier film Choice Monsters University, Dan Scanlon, 2013, 2 20 p.m., BBC One Pixar's belated follow up to 2001's Monsters Incorporated scrolls back to the student days of Furry Ogre Sully, voiced by John Goodman, and One Eyed, Froggy Thing Mike. Billy Crystal. It's a cliched campus movie, but young ones will have fun watching the buddies learning to be scary. Paul Howlett Scrooge, A Christmas Carol, Brian Desmond Hurst, 1951, 4.15 p.m., Channel 5 A Warm as Mince Pies version of the Dickens tale. Alistair Sim is Scrooge incarnate, his miserly humbuggery a delight, as he trudges home from work, shooing away angelic urchins and refusing to relent on a pleading debtor's £20 loan. The snowy, atmospheric photography is superb, but beware the ghostly visitation of Michael Hordron's chain-clanking Jacob Marley, he's a real gothic horror. Paul Howlett The Great Gatsby, Baz, Lorman, 2013, 9.30pm, BBC Two A fourth flawed screen version of F. Scott Fitzgerald's haunting classic. Still, Lorman jazzes up the opulence with the last word in excessive parties, anachronistic Jay-Z music and all, releasing a storm of energy that overpowers the yearning of Leo DiCaprio's enigmatic Gatsby and Carrie Mulligan's Sweet Daisy. It's blunt and unsubtle, but visually spectacular. 
Paul, Alex Sherlock Holmes, Guy Ritchie, 2009, 12.20 a.m., Lads movie maker Richie didn't seem a natural fit for Conan Oil's Baker Street, Sleuth, but he concocts fast-paced entertainment that blends wit and action in an atmospherically realized Victorian London. Robert Downey Jr.'s Holmes is a cerebral martial arts master, Jude Law far from your traditionally stolid Dr. Watson, and they spark and bicker engagingly in pursuit of Mark Strong's occultist crime lord. The sequel, A Game of Shadows, shows on Christmas Day, Paul Howlett lives for T20 International Cricket, India v Sri Lanka the final game of the series from the Wankata Stadium in Mumbai. 1.30 p.m., Sky Sports main event premiership rugby, Leicester Tigers v Saracens coverage from the 11th round of, fixtures at Twelford Road. 2.30 p.m., BT Sport 1 NFL another game from the league. 5.30 p.m., Sky Sports main event.